Hello, this is Dr. David Green with R3 Stem Cell. The topic today is stem cell therapy for elbow tendinitis. Elbow tendinitis is an extremely common condition in middle-aged individuals, usually over the age of 40. Men have tendinitis equal to women, and about 3% overall of the population is affected. It occurs where the forearm muscles attach to what's known as the epicondyle of the humerus. So it's from inflammation due to overuse. And on the outside part of the elbow, this is the lateral epicondyle, that's where tennis elbow occurs. On the inside part of the elbow, that's where golf, golfer's elbow occurs, that's called medial epicondylitis. Why does it occur? It's typically due to repetitive sports activities such as golf, tennis, weightlifting, etc. Or it can just be cleaning, gardening, painting, Typically, it presents out of the blue. A lot of patients don't understand why or what they did to make it uh, come on. It's not a very hard diagnosis for a doctor to make. History and physical examination are key. As you can see, palpation over this is the inside where you would find pain, uh, tenderness from golfer's elbow or on the outside from tennis elbow. Usually, x-rays are not very helpful. MRI only for unusual circumstances. There are various treatment options. When you look at the traditional treatment options, um, rest from the offending activity. If a person's an avid gardener or an avid tennis player, just take some time off from it. non anti-inflammatories by mouth have been very helpful. Heat, ice, TENS units can be uh, great for pain relief. Physical therapy, bracing, such as you see here with what's called a counterforce brace. It can stop the, the stress from going up the forearm and hitting those painful areas. Okay, Steroid injections have been uh, extremely helpful uh, for both medial and lateral epicondylitis. Now, new and cutting-edge treatments, such as stem cell therapy, have been revolutionary. Because traditional treatments, they don't help repair or regenerate the damaged tendon, okay? You basically get a nice big proverbial band-aid uh, to help with the pain and then just kind of wait for the body to do what it can to help heal the area. Here's the problem. A lot of times with elbow tendinitis, it actually has gone past the point of tendinitis and it becomes what's called tendinosis. And when that happens, there's really a low likelihood that it's going to heal itself um, at least in any quick fashion. I mean, these things can take two years for the pain to go away. With regenerative medicine, it offers the potential to repair the damage, damage back to 100%, faster and more complete than the body could ever do by itself. So the first regenerative medicine treatment offered is platelet-rich plasma therapy. It's known as PRP ther therapy for short. It's been used for decades in cardiac surgery, wound healing, dentistry, cosmetic surgery. It involves peripheral blood being drawn from the arm, just like you would a lab draw. And then it gets spun down in a centrifuge machine very rapidly for about 8 to 12, 15 minutes, something like that. Um, and then it turns into three layers. Uh, the middle layer is what is used. That's the, where the heavy concentration of platelets and growth factors occur. And then it's sterilely injected into the problem area. You know, here's the outside of the elbow for tennis elbow. Now, before we move to the bone marrow derived stem cells, just a quick note on PRP therapy. There's actually been a decent sized study out of the Hospital for Special Surgery last year which showed that PRP therapy was really, really good at helping prevent the need for surgery. Over 90% of people who have epicondylitis of either the inside or the outside never need, the, never need surgery. But there are a percentage of folks who get to a point where they've tried everything and it hasn't worked. Okay, so the HSS did the study and showed that PRP therapy was very effective at helping avoid surgery and obtain pain relief. When you move into bone marrow derived stem cells, it's an outpatient procedure. It involves a simple procedure uh, before the injection to harvest bone marrow from one's hip. Okay, the bone marrow is immediately processed and it's concentrated and then injected into the painful area. So it includes adult stem cells, growth factors, platelets. And, and then it just gets sterilely injected, just like with PRP therapy, but it has a lot of stem cells in it. PRP therapy doesn't come with a lot of stem cells. It can draw stem cells in from the body, 
but with bone marrow derived, they're already there. They're already in the mixture. Amniotic derived stem cell therapy is really on the cutting edge. Amniotic fluid is very heavily concentrated with stem cells, much more than anything you can get from your own body. It comes from consenting donors after a scheduled C-section. There's no fetal sacrifice. There's no embryonic stem cells. There's nothing unethical about the whole thing. Uh, the tissue is processed at an FDA regulated lab and checked for any abnormalities. It contains growth factors, hyaluronic acid, cytokines, and as mentioned, a plethora of concentrated stem cells. It's been used over 20,000 times in the U.S. with very, very minimal, if any, risks that have been seen. Okay, It comes uh, cryogenically frozen um, in vials that look like this. What are the outcomes of regenerative therapy? Well, over 95% of patients are able to avoid the need for surgery. Those are the statistics without regenerative therapy, but with regenerative therapy, the potential is to get faster, quicker, um, and also to avoid recurrences because you're regenerating and repairing uh, the tissue. There have been small studies looking at both PRP therapy and bone marrow stem cell treatments for epicondylitis, and both have shown excellent results. For the amniotic treatments, there have not been any large studies yet, only anecdotal studies which have amazing outcomes. There's a minimal risk of infection or any adverse events with these treatments, um, and the results have been nothing short of incredible, um, especially when you consider that, as mentioned, these, this condition can last for one to two years, okay? So if you can uh, give a, a treatment that can you know, alleviate pain, get person back to high levels of activity faster, you know, that's what it's all about. R3 works with centers of excellence nationwide, offering stem cell therapy for elbow tendonitis and all types of musculoskeletal conditions such as arthritis, tendonitis, ligament injuries. A lot of patients are able to delay or even avoid the need for surgeries such as joint replacement, arthroscopy, all kinds of things that do have uh, some risks associated with them. R3 even assists with financing and is offering research studies as well. So check us out on the internet at r3stemcell.com. There's a plethora of information on our website. And then call us uh, to schedule at 844-GET-STEM. I'm Dr. David Green with R3 Stem Cell. Your pain stops here.